today I am having Chipotle. Yes, I am. Back on track. <laughs> oh, and I'm super hungry. <clears throat> and I really, really hope <clears throat> that they made it like I ordered it. See, I got a water. I got a large guacamole and a large queso or queso. Ooh, why is it leaky looking? <clears throat> and a burrito bowl with a fork. Yay! Yeah, I ordered it with no beans and no rice. So hopefully this will be good <laughs> for me, that is. Uh -huh. mm. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, I got a bowl with extra steak, steak and extra steak, fajita vegetables, uh, queso blanco, mild tomato salsa, sour cream cheese, and less. All right. Ooh, and that looks pretty, pretty good. Ooh, there's lots of cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's heavy. That's all that steak. Queso, queso, queso. And I got these dips. Oh, I got extra, extra napkins. I got these, uh, the dips. Because I've got my my favorite pork rinds over here, the hot and spicy. So I was gonna do a little bit of dipping, not a whole lot of dipping, a little bit of dipping. And I also have my uh, Kroger <laughs> flour tortillas. They're six grams net carbs. I figured I'd try one of those with the burrito fixings. Well, their guacamole has extra cilantro in it. Ooh, it's tasty though. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, very good. Very good. Very good. Yummy. Ooh. And I've already factored all of the calories in both of these, the whole thing, which I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing, but you never know into my my fitness pal <laughs> so this is pretty much covering my food for the day which is fine with me because it's pretty late in the day already my water cheers Cream. Oh, they put the lettuce on top. Yep, no rice or beans. Goody. Well, they didn't put a whole lot of lettuce in it, which is okay. It's not a salad. They have salads that you can order. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh. Ooh, yummy. Ooh. I'm actually really excited about this. I haven't had Chipotle in a minute, and I usually go for their gigantic burrito, but this right here, it's everything that goes in the burrito, but without the extra carbs. <clears throat> Granted, this cheese sauce right here is going to have a whole lot of carbs in it, but again, this is like my meal of the day pretty much mm. so I'm not scared to get too many carbs today it'll be fine Hmm. 
you know what? Something's missing. I thought I put guacamole in there. Mm-hmm. I thought I ordered guacamole in the burrito bowl. Ooh, let me rate and tip this guy. He did really good. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Okay. I tipped 18% and he did really good. So I'm gonna up him to 30%. Submit. Yay. Very good, Isaiah. Thank you. Okay. He was very nice at the door when he handed me my goodies. Okay, I have to look. Okay, I guess I didn't. Oh, it was DoorDash that gave you the option to add guacamole. Or guacamole. But uh, Uber Eats did not. They did let me add queso, queso blanco though. Okay, so nothing's missing. We're good. We're good. If I want guacamole on it, I got guacamole right there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 It's spicy. Mmm. Mm. I'm wondering if that's the fajita seasoning. And the queso or the salsa because I got the mild salsa. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, pork rinds. Oh man, I ordered something cool, or at least I think it's cool, on uh, Amazon. I saw an ad on TikTok, and TikTok just knows me already, I guess. But um, it's a, it's like chips, but they're made out of chicken skin. Yep. I ordered it on Amazon. They should be here in a couple of days. I got the variety pack. There's like six, six flavors or something. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mmm. I really like the flavor of the hot and spicy ones, but they don't overpower everything. Mmm. Oh. oh, that's good. Oh, yes. I'm gonna double dip. <laughs> mm. 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 Serving size is a half an ounce. I don't even know how many pork rinds that is but it's only like 80 calories per serving so I'm not gonna stress no stress oh ooh. oh this is so good mmm 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 -hmm. Oh my lord, that queso. I'm glad I got that. That is yummy. Oh my lordy. Woo. Okay, back to 
my steak burrito bowl. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mm. The fajita vegetables. I think that's where the spice is coming from. Mm. And they're very crispy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. guys are doing well <clears throat> this video should be coming out on a Wednesday <laughs> because Wednesday's tomorrow <laughs> mm. and I'll be editing this tonight to go up tomorrow so yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man. Ooh. I just saw the uh, trailer for Thor Love and Thunder. Oh my lord, you guys. It looks like it's going to be so good. Oh my lord. I'm so ready. I'm super excited for both that and... um. Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Oh, pause one second. I have to blow my nose. Pause. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that little bit of spice was getting to me. Okay, Chipotle. Oh, oh there's so much onion. Maybe I shouldn't have got the fajita vegetables. Hmm. But I just wanted something. Well, you know, extra vegetables. <clears throat> and these onions. So. Oh. I don't know what it is. I just prefer my vegetables to be, like, well done. <laughs> <clears throat> and the onion is like bothering me I think I like onions don't get me wrong I like onions but it was like too much onions is a little overpowering for me so I might have screwed up there I don't mind the green pepper so much when it's undercooked but but the onion the, the taste of the, the raw like raw onion it was like oh. Mmm. 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 Still good though. Mmm. Mmm. You know, no rice and beans. It's fun. Mmm. I screwed up the other day. <clears throat> I ordered a meal from um, the Hawaiian barbecue and I got the um, Kahlua pork and cabbage bowl and I didn't realize that they just put rice in there automatically so I was like oh crap <laughs> so I just dug a little bit of dug a little bit of 
pork out of there. And it's like, but but the majority of the bowl was rice, and it just had a little pork in the middle. And I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> well, I thought I'd try it. I just I didn't. I just did, didn't realize, you know. But most bowls are like a rice bowl. I, I mean, thinking back the last time I ordered Panda Express, like months and months ago, didn't even do a video, but it was just, you know, it was just a, short, a small meal. I ordered the, uh, like an orange chicken bowl and got the, it got the fried rice on the bottom. So, duh, candy. If you order like a bowl meal, it's a smaller meal, sure, but they're going to throw filler in it. <laughs> and rice is a filler. <laughs> mm. And there's nothing inherently wrong with rice. I'm fine with rice. I have like three giant bags of rice in my pantry. Mm. I thought I gave away all my carbs. <laughs> but I didn't. That's what I get for not looking in there sooner. I just tell somebody grab all the carbs out of there and you just grab a few things and I looked in there and I've got like stacks and stacks of pasta like like three packs of spaghetti some kind of like uh I, I didn't look to see what it was but it was like a big like bag of something probably bow ties or penne or something like that and I got all these pasta sauces. And then I got like two big, like 32 ounce bags of long grain rice. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, I guess eventually we'll be going back to carbs, <laughs> which I had every intention of doing that. You know, a low carb situation is not sustainable. I mean, it's good to like kind of kickstart things, but you know, it, honestly, I don't think it's good to stay on any particular like one diet for too long. I, I really think you should have like a balance. You know, I, I just think that I wanted to do this because it was easy. And basically, you're just cutting out all the sugars and all the processed things and you know, so anyway but yeah I'll get back to carbs eventually <laughs> you know just moderation I know people say moderation all the time but an entire like pound of pasta and an entire jar of sauce is still not all of the calories you need for the day I mean I've added it up I'm like I'm like, I'm gonna eat this whole pound of pasta and a jar of sauce, and that's gonna be it for me today. And I was under under my calorie count for the day. So I'm like, you can eat a whole lot of certain foods. What is that, the high carb something or other? Oh, anyway, <laughs> I'm going for high volume, low calorie. Mm. Just not super low calorie, but mm. if you want to make dang sure you're full, <laughs> mm. try eating a pound of pasta. Mm. You ain't gonna be eating nothing else. I don't know, I'll probably sound like an idiot right now. <laughs> but for me, I prefer to eat meat mm. with my protein and my fat. Mm. 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 And I do like steak. So I thought steak would be like the best choice. Mm. The best bang for my buck, I guess. Mm. Mm. 
There's a lot of chewing. Mmm. 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 It's very good though. Mmm. 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 Ooh, I just ran across some fat. A bit of fat and cartilage. Mmm. Your tortilla. That's some six carbs. Ugh. I know y'all hate these videos. <laughs> Not all of you. A lot of you actually like when I'm attempting to eat healthier. <laughs> when some of you are like, oh, this is so boring. It sucks. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Their guacamole is really good. I like it. Some steak. steak. Don't want to overfill it, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That is perfectly delicious. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I'm only doing one of these. Serving. Yep, one tortilla. 70 calories. Which is not, not cheap on the calories considering it's just a little flat piece of bread. <laughs> I ordered. All right. That I'm excited to try. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's bread. It's called Kiss My Keto Bread. Zero carb, zero net carb. It's a four variety pack. It's got six grams of protein per slice. 
low carb loaf, low calorie sandwich bread, sugar free, non GMO, soy free, keto friendly food. They have dark wheat, golden wheat, cinnamon raisin. How is that low carb? Oh, that's got two, two grams of net carb because of the raisins. And the other, the other is seeded wheat. So I'm very interested to see what these taste like. Very, very. Oh, and it's got a lot of fiber too. Let's see, they're golden wheat versus us versus them. Zero gram net carbs, them 17 gram net carbs. Zero gram sugar, them five gram sugar. Five grams fiber, one gram of fiber. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. It's not super cheap though. And it's uh, four, four loaves for like, uh, like 36 bucks. Darn. But still, you know, I only eat like a slice or two a day at the most. Uh, and I'm gonna put the rest in the freezer. You know, you can freeze bread if you have to. <laughs> so I'm gonna freeze some bread. Okay, and my chicken skins. What they got to say about my chicken skins? I'm really excited to try chicken skins. Okay, they have buffalo wing chicken chicken skin, salt and vinegar. It's C H I C H I C K N skin. <laughs> So there's buffalo wings, salt and vinegar, original, salt and pepper, and chili lime. Interesting. And the variety pack I got came with two original, one salt and pepper, one chili lime, one buffalo wing, and one salt and vinegar. And they're not super huge. Uh, each, each one is like two ounces, which that's not bad. So I got like six packs 37 they're on 38 bucks keto snacks and things are not freaking cheap at all at all what else did i get yeah i'm just i'm just a shopaholic over here uh okay these are these are called just the cheese bars <laughs> just the cheese Low carb snack, baked keto snack, high protein, gluten free, low carb cheese crap crisps. Uh, I got a 12 pack variety. What, what are the flavors? And four packs of aged cheddar, four packs of grilled cheese, and four packs of jalapeno. Interesting. One gram carb per serving, 75 calories per bar. Zero trans fats and gluten free. Awesome, awesome. So they're just little snacks. I, got, I gotta have, I'm a snack person. I like snacks, I really do. Okay, and the next thing I got, it'll be arriving in a couple days. Uh, BHU Keto Bites. Uh, low net carb, low sugar, organic keto snacks made with clean gluten-free ingredients, four bag variety pack with six individually wrapped snacks per bag. Um, double dark chocolate. These look like little brownies. They're like little brownies. And I hope they're decent. I hope they're decent. I have a, a box of Duncan, Duncan Hines Keto Brownie Mix. And I don't want to make a whole tray of brownies, okay? Because I don't want to have a whole tray of brownies sitting in my refrigerator or my kitchen or whatever, tempting me to overeat. So um, I'm trying to think, like, if I could take, like, a few scoops of the, the brownie, the keto brownie mix, like, maybe with some coconut oil and an egg or <clears throat> good butter in an egg or something and make a little, like, a mug brownie in the microwave or something. I don't know if that's possible. It probably is. Uh, I should just experiment. But anyway, the, the there's four flavors. There's double dark chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough, white chocolate macadamia, and peanut butter chocolate chip. And they just look like little little brownie little brownie things. 
140 calories per serving. So one of those little bites is 140 calories. I gotta be ready for that. Six grams of protein. Uh, okay, so it's five gram total carbohydrates with four grams of fiber. So it's one gram net carb, which isn't bad. That's not too bad. Mm. Oh, okay. Anyway, and there's other snacks that I added to my cart that I haven't bought yet. I'm going to see how these are first, but let's see. I've got the <clears throat> Magic Spoon Cereal. I've been seeing that all over TikTok, and I want to try it at some point. Um, and then there's this Catalina Crunch Keto Protein Cereal that looks good. I want to try. And that same company, Catalina Crunch has uh, sandwich cookies. It's interesting. And then this uh, Quest company has tortilla style protein chips. And uh, there's a variety pack. And then there's also this high low life, low carb keto friendly tortilla chips. So oh, there's so many options for snacks. I mean, it gets pricey. It gets pricey, but you know, like I said, I'm not staying doing this forever, but if I can keep my carbs low and my calories low, I might actually, you know, get to a point where I start feeling a little bit better and I have less inflammation. Oh, I want that more than anything. I mean, losing weight is great. I'm all about that. And Thankful if that happens, but mm. I mainly just want to like rid myself of sugar to help my inflammation go down because I hurt so bad all the time and I'm so tired of hurting. Mm. Mm. And apparently there are so many benefits to being low carb or keto. All of this crap after what was my I already forgot my cheat it was Taco Bell I had Taco Bell <laughs> mm. 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 you know I think back on certain things that I do and certain things I say and I'm like Candy you're so full of shit <laughs> Oh, mercy. <clears throat> Cheat days don't count. Yeah, they do. They do count. <clears throat> mm. They do. I was like, I didn't need all that. Oh, 
clip. But the thing is, is even when you go off the rails a little bit, you gotta get back on track ASAP. And in the past, I'd just be like, you're a big failure, you suck, and then just give up altogether. But I don't wanna give up, I wanna feel better. You know, and 440 pounds, it's not enough. I get back to 400 and then lower if possible so Whew. so we ain't quitting we ain't quitting <laughs> and I know me talking about all this low carb keto stuff you know it's boring to some people but to some people it might be helpful you know So I figure if it's working for me, it might work for somebody else. Mm. 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 Had enough of this. Mm. I love the, the cheese sauces, but I don't trust them. I looked up the calories, but not the carbs. Not so worried about this. This is good fiber and fat. Good fat. So I'm going to finish this later. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to finish working on my bowl here. And fill up but I do need to save a snack for later because about 10 o'clock at night or so I'll get a little peckish steak. I am. Because, well, it's a little hard to chew, chew, chew. It's, like, really, like, satisfying that need to, like, masticate something. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. been going on if anything not really anything <laughs> no um uh, playing a lot of Skyrim lately I started another game it's like I'll, I'll get so far in the game and I'm like bored or something <clears throat> What on earth is that? Like a big chunk of onion? Oh, mm -hmm. oh excuse me. <clears throat> oh, that's enough. That is enough. Oh, <clears throat> I ate most of it. 
said in the guac. <clears throat> this is still warm. Nice. Ooh, that was good. That was good. It was a little spicy though. Oh, I don't know if that was the meat that was that spicy, the cheese, or the fajita. I don't know. I don't eat Chipotle very often. <clears throat> but they had the option for the burrito bowl, so I was like, let's try it. Let's see. <laughs> it was good. Mm. Huh. I don't know what the difference of salad would have been. Now, <clears throat> at Subway, you can get the no bready bowl. And I filled up a cart and checked it out and everything. And I'm wondering what's, what, I still, there's not much difference between the no bready bowl and the salad. You just get the salad. Cause you have all that meat on top of the salad and it doesn't, you know, and what's the difference? <laughs> mm. Anyway. Oh, so I'm excited for some upcoming Marvel movies. That's for sure. Uh, I told y'all last time I just, I just bought the uh, Morbius movie. That was really good. It was really good, but I really expected more though. I really expected more, but I should watch it again. I should sit and watch it again and see. Uh, I was being interrupted a lot while I was trying to watch it, so maybe I, maybe I missed something. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, and the Spider-Man No Way Home. That was, I like that better than I like Morbius, to be honest. Mm. I hope if they bring Morbius back, they, they do something else, which I think they will. I mean, I was I was enjoying his uh, abilities and whatnot, but oh, my nose, my sinuses are like draining. So I might as well just say bye for now so I can tend to my sinuses. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for spending a little time with me today. Um, yeah, back on track, I'm doing my best here, doing my best. I'll do another weigh-in in, in a, about a month or so. <laughs> I try not to weigh in every week or stuff like that because it's like I don't want to get disappointed if I'm not getting results, which I should be getting some results, you know. Uh, I should, by my next weigh-in, be somewhere under 440. <laughs> oh, it was 442, I think, 440. 42. It was 442.8 on my last way in. Which that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's down from 460. So. Uh, whew. Anyway. I love you guys very much. And I will see you next time. Mm, bye now. <laughs>